Just two days after the loss to Man City, Liverpool have a quick turnaround as they travel to London to take on Chelsea, who are just as bad as us, basically. I mean, in the table, worse, but just in terms of our form this season, just as bad. So in that sense, it should be a pretty good matchup. But a lot of team news ahead of the match, given the quick turnaround. So I'm going to give you guys all of that information and then provide you with my predict and 11 based on that information given by Klopp in his press conference. I think this about every match, but honestly, this is the match for Liverpool to start building some momentum to battle for top four for the rest of the season. And you look at Chelsea, they are struggling. Out of the top six, quote unquote, top six teams, Liverpool and Chelsea have been by far the worst, I think, and Chelsea are just struggling significantly more than us. I don't know what it is. I mean, they have a lot of players out as well. Luckily for us, we don't have any fresh injury concerns going into this, all right? Klopp had said that the only two who are definitely a doubt at this point in time are Thiago and Luis Diaz. Luckily, Diaz and Thiago are in training. Uh, whether or not they're in team training, full training, all that, those details aren't quite there, but it's good to hear that they're all back in training. What I do want to present to you guys is what Klopp said that's a little concerning right here, all right? He said there will be changes definitely. There has to be, all right? So stay with me here. That's what we have to use then. 48 hours, and then you travel, and then you wait in London, you kick off. That's what we're working on. So he's essentially saying there have to be changes, but he also noted that he doesn't find out any of the information about who's available until after the press conference. So with my starting 11, I'm kind of going into this blindly, but... You guys will notice there's not many changes I made. I'd be surprised to see if Klopp made any changes given we essentially have to go with our strongest lineup. And if there's no fresh injury concerns, why would he change anything? But that remains to be seen. And just a little FYI in terms of who's available for Chelsea. Aspilicueta, Broja, and then Thiago Silva all out for Chelsea as they lost. They're coming off of a bad loss to Aston Villa 2-0. And then Wesley Fofana and Raheem Sterling also absent for the home loss to Aston Villa. Boom, here you go. This is my predicted starting 11. I know Klopp said that there has to be changes, but with no fresh injury concerns, I find it hard to believe that, well, I guess there's one change, right? With Nunez starting up top, but I find it hard to believe he wouldn't play these guys. So let's jump into this. The back five stays the same. A lot of criticism on effort, defending from Trent and Robertson. I didn't think Robertson was all that bad. Trent, on the other hand, eh. Some people might say Matip deserves a go at center back and not Kanate. I'm still starting Van Dyke and Kanate next to each other. I think it's our best center back pairing at this point in time. Of course, Allison is in goal. Midfield stays exactly the same. I'm going Hendo, Fabinho, and Elliott in the midfield. I don't think there's any other options, honestly. Until Thiago comes back, that's who I'm going with. Let me know what you guys think about that. And of course, the front three, Nunez came on, so he's clearly healthy enough to play, just didn't start for whatever reason. So I'm going Nunez, Gakpo, and Salah at the front line. And honestly, based on how Chelsea played against Aston Villa, we should 100% get goals in this game. There shouldn't, there's no excuses at this point. We should 100% get goals in this game. Other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Your predicted 11, as always. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about Klopp's comments regarding we have to make changes, yet there's no fresh injury concerns? Let me know what you think about that. <sighs> Let's get the three points, guys. That's it. Nothing else. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, slap a like on it. Until next time, take care.